You know, if there's one thing we love doing on this show, it is sharing ways to help you save your hard-earned money, especially in these times. It's important for so many of us to make our money go as far as possible. So, what if you knew what was on sale before it went on sale? Think of how strategically you could spend. Joining us with the inside scoop on what to buy when is Lisa Chang. Lisa, it is so good to see you, girl. Hey, T, so good to see you, too. And you nailed it right off the top. When it comes to what we've all been through in the last couple of years, we are talking about inflation, rising gas prices, Ugh. and so much more. And it's more important than ever before to spend strategically and really budget for the things that are either big ticket items or the things that we buy the most. We really, like you said, want our dollar to stretch and for mm. it to be worth it in the end. You know, I think about people like my parents who will go to like four different grocery stores following the flyers and the sales. We actually all need to be like that. Yes. We all have to be like that now because everything is so expensive. So this is a game changer that you're giving us an inside look on what's, uh, what's on sale when. Yes. And let's start on the quarter that we just missed, and this is January to March. That's right. So January, February, March, and not to fret, because I want you to hold this in your back pocket mm. for next year. And some of these sales are actually going to repeat as we move along through the rest of the year, so I want you to pay attention. Okay. Now, let's see what's underneath. All right. I love right. a good deal starting with January. So January is all about a fresh start. And when it comes to freshening up our homes, that's the first sale that we're gonna see. Mm. So this is called the white sale, and Walmart is actually the one who told me about this. So if it comes to refreshing your linens, your towels, really anything around the house, especially organizational tools, mm -hmm. you definitely wanna look at that. Okay. When it comes to a fresh start on your health, yes, we're gonna push the reset button every January, of course. So when it comes to fitness equipment, in-home fitness equipment, gym memberships, yep. things like that, you're definitely gonna find them on sale as well. Now, at the end of the month, what's interesting is that families are strategizing around what they want to do with the rest of their year. And a lot of times that comes into vacation planning. Oh, yes. So you want to find that yeah. bathing suit. You want to find the sunscreen. You want to find the towels. All the yeah. things that we typically go shopping for in the summer when they're regular price, you're going to find them on sale in January. So I love that we can look for that now. That is so good. Okay, so we know uh, that we're looking for we're looking for linens, we're looking for fitness, we're looking for vacation. What else are we looking for? Okay, so in February, this yeah. is really interesting. You want to keep tech at the top of mind mm. in February. Every January, we have what's called the Consumer Electronics Show in yeah. Vegas, and it's the most anticipated because that's when the biggest brands and biggest names, they're going to unveil their strategies and their new products mm -hmm. for that current year. What happens in February is that you're going to find all of last year's top models on sale. Oh, good. So they go end of life before the new models start to load in in March. So if your hubby wants that 75-inch big screen TV, or you do, yes, February is the time to get it. Okay, good to know. Anything else we should be looking for? Absolutely. So a lot of buzzworthy gadgets are unveiled in uh, February as well. Yeah. So things like what you're seeing right in front of you, the Roku 4K stick, yeah. that was the most buzzworthy product that came out of CES because that allows you to access thousands of free and live television shows, plus all of your favorite streaming services. Really good. Okay, and then what have we got here? Okay, so you want to talk sizzling ribs, sizzling burgers on the barbecue. Yeah. We usually think of the summer months with that, but yeah. when it comes to shopping for your grill, Trigger Grills let us in on the inside scoop there and, and told us that grills go on big time sales in March. Are you listening, Canada? <laughs> Get your grill in March and I, then you'll have it for summer. I love a good deal like that. So mm -hmm. definitely when it comes to shopping for your grills, you want to look for it in March. Okay, guys, so barbecue, I mean, listen, we barbecue all year long, right? Let's jump to April uh, to June. What is on sale? Have we got it here? Yes, let's okay, see what's let's underneath. let's see what's on sale. Okay, so in April, What's interesting is that sustainability and the planet is top of mind. So you're okay. going to find a lot of your reusable totes, any sustainable products on sale. Yep. Now in May, this is when you're going to find household and baby items on sale. So Bye Bye okay. Baby let us in 
on the fact that they're going to deep discount all of their bigger ticketed baby items around the Victoria Day long weekend. So you Ooh. definitely want to look for that. Yes. If you're a new parent or you're planning for your family, this is definitely the weekend you want to shop. Okay. In June, what happens is that a lot of gym memberships go on sale again because we're spending a lot of time walking, we're outdoors, yeah. so gyms want to entice you to get back in and you want to negotiate for the best gym membership in June. I didn't even know that gym memberships actually went on sale, so this is good to know and you're, if you're looking for that reset, this is the time to do it. Did we cover all the stuff? We did, so that's the second quarter. Up next, it's summer, my favorite time of year. What's on sale? So, with the summer, you would typically think Ooh. about things heating up, but what's interesting is that we have Christmas in July in okay. July. So okay. you're going to find a lot of product categories categories on sale. Now in July what also happens is that a lot of the smaller school supply items go on sale. So you don't want to wait for Labor Day to stock up on your school supplies. Yeah. Staples let us know that they're actually going to put their school supplies on sale as early as June this year. So Good when the know. kids are coming out, listen, the kids aren't thinking about going back to school, but maybe <laughs> the parents are. Most wonderful time of the year, so why not do it? Now in August, this is when you want to shop for the bigger back to school supplies. So mm -hmm. things like what you're seeing here. Here, this HP Envy 360 laptop, you definitely want to look for something that's future proof, like what you see here, and look for deep discounts the closer you get to Labor Day so you can save. Good. Now, another little insider tip on a brand that never goes on sale we're talking yeah. about Apple. Aspirational pieces across the board. Yeah. What happens in September is that Apple usually unveils at their keynote event that they have new products coming out. Mm -hmm. So what happens is that if you're looking for a new phone, mm -hmm. you want to wait until September because that's when carriers put them on sale. Okay. Huge tip there. That is a huge tip because we're all trying to upgrade all the time when it comes to our technology. Okay, so Christmas and summer, everybody. Did you get that? <laughs> It's hard to wrap my head around that one. We've come to the end of the year, and because of the holidays, we are just like... Yes. Spending! Make so what it have rain. we got for sale? Okay, so we're usually spending on everybody else, but one thing I want you to keep in mind is that if you want to spend for yourself, yeah. this is the time to do it, especially when it comes to big ticket. Okay. Across the board in Q4, cars will go on sale big time. So dealers like GM, once again, they let us know that this is when they're closing in on their yearly goals. Mm -hmm. Now with gas prices going out the roof, this is your time to really think about maybe going towards an electric vehicle. Yes. Once again, keeping the planet in mind. Okay. In November and December, you're gonna find Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and then of course moving into Boxing Week. This is the time to keep tech top of mind as well because you're going to find all of your bigger ticketed items, all of your mm. gadgets on sale. So if you're looking to purchase for yourself, now is the time to do it along with gaming systems as well. A little insider tip that I want to give you, especially coming from the tech industry, is that when you're seeing Black Friday sales, they typically repeat themselves in Boxing Week, yeah. but you're getting the scraps during Boxing Week because okay. they're clearing it out. So definitely shop for Black Friday. That's why I never feel panic because I noticed that for, for Boxing Week. It's like you're seeing actually the same stuff you saw a little bit earlier, mm -hmm. but, but you made the point of you're getting the scraps. You are. So if you care about that stuff, I don't care. I'll take the scraps on sale. <laughs> but if you want the newest and the latest and the greatest, try and get it on the Cyber Monday, right? Smart cookie girl. Very good. Okay. Great info as always, Lisa. You always know what's good and for us to do uh, throughout the year.